Hi, and thanks for joining me for another resume tip where we keep it short, simple and specific or KISS. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use a word cloud generator to help you get an idea of how to focus your cover letter and resume specifically to the job advertisement for which you are applying. But first, what is a word cloud? Well, a word cloud is a visual representation of words or phrases in a text that shows how important they are and how often they occur. It's also fun to use and I like using it as the first step to getting an idea of how to start matching my experience, skills and qualifications to the job advertisement. Now, in the past, I did a video how you can choose keywords manually for your cover letter and resume, but a word cloud generator will do that automatically for you. It's important not to rely just on the word cloud generator because it is not as specific or as accurate as you can be when you are specifically reading the job advertisement and selecting the keywords. So let's start. Here I have a job advertisement for an operations manager. The first thing I want to do is briefly scan through the job advertisement to decide which sections I'm going to include in the word cloud generator. I want to focus on any sections that talk about the applicant requirements, the experience, the skills, the knowledge that are needed from the applicant. So this section at the very end, which talks about the company, is not necessary for me to include in the word cloud generator. The next step is to select the text that I do want to include. So I'm going to start here with the job summary, the job duties, requirements, experience, schooling, and I'm going to stop here just before the company description. Next, I'm going to copy this section and paste it into the text box of the word cloud generator. Then I'm going to press go. And as you can see, the word cloud has been generated and it has a lot of words. Some of them are so small that I can't even see them. Now, the larger the word, the more important it is, and the more significant it is in the job advertisement. So the first step is to reduce the number of words. The cool thing with word uh, cloud generators is that you can play with the settings. You can change the, the word direction so that it is more difficult or easier for you to see the words. And most importantly, you can edit the number of words displayed in the word cloud. I like to usually use about 20 words or at least to start with 20 and then I'm going to press go again and as you can see the word cloud has reduced the number of words. Now look at this, the largest word that shows here is management. Now because this job advertisement is for an operations manager, that makes sense. We know the word cloud generator is working. But there are other important words like policies, like uh, procedures, um, inventory, warehouse, experience, duties. So we can start to get an idea of the theme or the focus that our cover letter and resume should take. And we are starting to get a sense of the words that we should also be including in these two documents. I'm going to increase the number of words from 20 to 30 so that I can see perhaps other important words and some of the things that are important include reporting, operations, goals, probably performance management, 
um, and you can see manage, management, managing occurring three times here, which means that if you're applying for this job, you need a lot of management experience. So this is how you can use a word cloud generator to help you to start thinking about the focus of your cover letter and resume. You can find different kinds of word cloud generators. All you have to do to find one is type word cloud generator into your favorite search engine and just start exploring which ones work for you. They're very easy to use and very easy to learn. And more importantly, they're also fun. So try it and see if it works for you. I hope this tip was useful for you. And as always, if you have any comments or questions, please make sure to post them in the comments section below.